Hello and welcome to the Rangers News YouTube channel. It's Jordan Carlisle here alongside James Black and Cammy Willis. How are you doing? Um, um, we're just going to look back to Sunday's win briefly, back to Sunday's win over Hearts, 5-0 uh, at Ibrox, pretty <coughs> comprehensive affair, uh, and then look forward to uh, Wednesday night's game against Aberdeen. So, Cammy, what were your thoughts? Um, I was freezing. That was first <laughs> like uh, seriously. It was Baltic. It was one of the one of the You're coldest one of the coldest games I've been to Ibrox. Um, that was good. It was routine enough. I mean, it felt as if Rangers never really got out of second gear. Uh, hearts are absolutely murder. They they kind of resorted to kind of scything down players and stuff. And uh, I it was it was a very strong performance for Rangers. One of the things I think that Gerard touched on at the end of the match, but I think what impressed people is when we when we went. Um, I think as soon as we got like the fourth goal. Uh, we just kept hunting for like the final. I think he, I think he scored that one in the 80th minute. He just kept hunting for the last 10 minutes, trying to get more and more goals. And I was a wee bit raging about it. Cause I had four nil Morelos so on. So <laughs> <laughs> when Stuart scored, it was like kind of muted celebrations for me. But a uh, good, a good result. A very strong performance by Rangers. Hearts are re really poor team though. And um, but uh, Rangers never really had to go above and beyond to get it. Excellent. Uh, and then James, obviously. Probably moving on to a tougher assignment in midweek. Uh, what are your thoughts heading into that one? It'll be real. It'll be interesting to see if they can kind of carry that momentum on. I think a lot of people maybe expect a bit of a drop in performance going for the final game of the, the Hearts game at the weekend. So it'll be interesting to see just uh, how they carry on. But Aberdeen's always a big challenge for them, and I like to think that they're in a really good place. There's some really really big games on, and guys know their places are at stake, so they've got that wee extra bit of motivation and you know kind of pushing that wee bit further and jumping that wee bit higher and that bit faster. Well, that's probably one of the things, isn't it? Like, the the concept of going to Pataudry, uh, that's always going to be difficult. The, the thought is that it's, it's pretty intense up there and it's going to be a tough game. Obviously, the last time these two played each other, Rangers wiped the floor with them at Ibrox 5-0. Are you expecting a lot more of resistance I, I th I in terms of that from the Dons. I mean, I, I, th I think it's going to be a very tough game. They, they were decimated with injuries in that game. Aye, yeah. massively. And, and um, it's, going to be, it's going to be a different looking Aberdeen. It's, the, it's like their festival old firm though, this fixture. Aye. Remember the game last year, we won it 4-2. Um, and it was a good game. And this is always a good game this time of year up in Pataudry. Um It'll be a tough game. Um, I mean, I think... Our rivals are really expecting us to drop points in this one, and I think that if we win this, it's really good for our momentum. Not just going into Sunday's game, but for the rest of the league campaign. Because Celtic aside, this is our hardest away game of the season, and there's maybe a little, little bit of conversation around us dropping away, or maybe dropping points at Aberdeen or Hibs or Celtic. But if we win this again, it's just turning pressure up on everybody else around us. And I do expect us to win it, but I don't mm. think it's going to be an easy game. No, definitely won't be an easy game. Um, I think there's, there's always going to be that kind of natural disposition of one eye in the, the cup final as well. So hopefully there's mm -hmm. they're not too distracted by the, the prospect they're going to hand and facing Celtic. But and I'd, I'd, I'd like to think that they're going to come out of that with a, a good win at least. Um, I, I can't see them dropping points. Certainly can't see them losing. Well, the, mm -hmm. the thing there, I suppose, as well, is that, yes, they were a lot short at Ibrox, but then Celtic went up there and gave them a doing, and, and that yeah. was, and I think they had most guys back at that stage. We're talking I McKenna mean, and Considine and all that were all playing. McInnes has always got that kind of chip on his shoulder with Rangers as well, yeah. that he's, he's trying to prove that he didn't make the wrong decision a couple of years ago. With, with Celtic, I mean, I, I mean, look how have played against Celtic over the course of the last, near, near close to a decade. They've, they've hardly given them a, a, a game bar that time that they, they had to win in order to finish second, but... Uh, um, I it's it's to them it's their big rivalry so I'm expecting them to be up for it but we, if we can silence the crowd get an early goal settle us down I think that we will score goals up there and it'll be a good game it'll be an entertaining game you know the fans love it going up there on that Wednesday night match uh, during December so hopefully the team sends them home happy any uh, any thoughts on changes I don't the think team? there'll be too many I think they'll want to just keep everybody ticking over and keep everybody just in that we gonna good groove they're in just now and have them all re rearing to go for Hamden. Ryan Jack probably back in. I think Ryan Jack will come in. I think, I think that's likely maybe it. For like maybe Jack for... I, I, think, I think I was thinking maybe Arebo and Arfield come out for Jack and Stewart. I think after Gerard's comments, you might, you might give Stewart an opportunity up at Aberdeen because he's got a little bit of a point to prove as well because and obviously in the second half of last season, he went up there and he kind of underperformed. And uh, 
I think that, and he scored obviously he scored his first goal against um, yeah. uh, four Rangers against Aberdeen. So I think that would be a good opportunity to put him in. He's just scored two at the weekend. He's coming into that game on a little bit of a high, and I think I think that's what you'll see. I think he'll come in for uh, maybe drop the evil back though. You know, I, I'm 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 not entirely convinced that it'll be. Uh, that it'll be those two as a straight swap, maybe a rebo keep his place, but um, perhaps. Okay, uh, and just predictions before we go. Two one Rangers. Yeah. Mm. I see. I want to say like a four two or something again. Oh, you know what I, mean? I, th- I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think so. I think I think it'll be a high scoring match. I think both teams will score. Um, hopefully we score first. Hopefully yeah. we're a couple of goals ahead. What okay, you? you're locking in four two. I'd s- I'd go for. It. I'll say four two. Go. I'm gonna stick with James because we got the fan or one right with a, a two two or a, a one all cautious one. So I go two one the Jersey. 